Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot the problem of laptop battery showing plugged in but not charging. Here, as you can see, I have this laptop plugged to power, but when I point to the battery icon on the taskbar, I get this brief message saying plugged in, not charging. Meanwhile, this is a fairly new battery. I've been using it for just a few months, so I don't expect it to be having such problem at this point in time. However, faulty battery is not the only reason why you may be seeing this message on your battery icon. Other possible reasons include faulty adapter drivers, faulty or inappropriate power adapters, damaged circuit boards, malfunctioning battery sensor, and sometimes it could even be a fault with the motherboard. So in this video, I'll be walking you through a step-by-step -step approach to troubleshooting this problem, identifying the faulty element, and eventually resolving the issue. I will also provide some recommendations that would help prevent the reoccurrence of this problem in the future. And now with that said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so before diving into any settings or configurations on your laptop, let's first deal with the possible external factors that could be causing this problem. First in this category is your power adapter. Here you need to check that the power parameters of your adapter match the power requirements of your laptop. Talking about the voltage and current parameters. This is important especially if you are using a replacement adapter. Normally, all power adapters will provide their power parameters on the labels or imprinted on the plastic covers. Laptops normally have their power requirements either on the back cover or somewhere around the battery compartment. So you need to check for these parameters and ensure they match up. Now, do they have to match exactly like you see in my case? Well, not necessarily, but I would say the closer the better. For long-term continuous use, it's advisable to use the adapter recommended for your laptop. However, among these two key parameters, that's the voltage and the current, the voltage is the more strict or if you want less flexible parameter. So if you are using an adapter that is off your laptop specified voltage with more than 0.5 volts, then there could be chances of malfunctions like this. However, the current parameter could vary more widely. For instance, a laptop specified for 3.25 amps will do fine with a 5 or even 6 amp adapter because the laptop will pull as much amps as it needs. However, using a 1.5 amp adapter on a laptop specified for 3.25 amps could lead to such malfunctioning as plugged in or charging issue, even though the voltage meets the specified voltage of the laptop. And the reason is obvious, there isn't enough amps to keep the laptop running and charging at the same time, so check up on this. Still on the power adapter, the fact that the pin of an adapter matches the charging port of your laptop doesn't necessarily imply that it's compatible with your laptop. Some laptops like Dell and HP share similar kind of pins, however, they are not exactly the same specifications. And although the center pins are not the same, they will easily fit in either ports. However, using one for the other could lead to some malfunction in that if it works at all. The second physical factor to check is your battery interface connector. This is a contact point between your battery and the laptop from where the battery charges and discharges. Though quite rarely, but there could be times when your battery connector gets displaced either due to shock or some vibrations. Hence, keeping the connection loose and causing such problems as the plugged in not charging issue. So for this situation, simply remove your battery and firmly attach it back again and see if that fixes the problem. Now, if you have checked these physical factors and nothing seems to be wrong with them, then it's time to check on your system settings and configurations to see if any parameter has been set wrongly. First in this category will be to reinstall all Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery listings in the device manager. This includes the PCIe and the AC adapter drivers. To do that, first remove your battery and power up your laptop only with the AC adapter. From your desktop, go to the search and type device manager. Click on device manager from the search results. On the device manager page, search for batteries and click on the arrow to the left to expand the listings. Here for each listing, right click and select uninstall device. Now here I should mention that upon restarting your laptop, all drivers under your battery will be automatically reinstalled so you don't have to worry about manually downloading any of these drivers. So after uninstalling, shut down your laptop and attach your battery back again.
Then boot up your laptop and check your battery status to see if it's charging properly again. If that still doesn't work, then the next fix would be to recalibrate your battery. Now this is a bit of a common situation with laptop batteries, especially if your laptop is constantly connected to AC adapter. Over time, they tend to lose the correlation between the percentage charge displayed on the battery icon and the actual percentage of charge in the battery. So even when your battery is fully charged, the percentage charge displayed on your laptop icon could still be less than 100%. So to protect the battery from overcharge, the charge controller automatically stops the charging of the battery even though the displayed icon doesn't show 100% yet. So that could also be the reason for this plugged in not charging message on your battery icon and to fix that, you will need to recalibrate your battery. To do that, simply unplug the AC adapter from your laptop and then keep using your laptop only on the battery until it's completely discharged. So even when you get a low battery warning, do not turn it off, allow it to shut down by itself. Then plug back the AC adapter and charge up the battery continuously to 100%. Now you can be using your laptop at the same time when you charge, but ensure that it gets to 100% charge before disconnecting the adapter. It's really that simple. And if that doesn't work for you, then the next thing you want to check is overheating. As you probably know, laptops are equipped with temperature sensors to protect vital components like the CPU, the GPU, and the battery. Now, depending on the logic of these sensors, they could cause a total shutdown of the laptop, like the case of overheating processor, or trigger a disconnect of the component, like the case of the battery, hence leading to such problems as plugged in not charging. These sensors are normally designed to recover the protected component to normal operation once the triggers are removed, in this case, the heat. However, in extreme cases, the sensors themselves could also break down leading to more permanent damage. For the case of overheating laptop or battery, simply unplugging from the AC source and allowing the laptop to cool down a bit before plugging it back on could be the simple fix for this problem. Now if you have checked all this and you still get a plugged in not charging message, then chances are it could be a hardware related issue, which is mostly between the battery and the motherboard. So you see that your battery is actually failing, maybe due to broken internal circuits, charge controller or cells, or your motherboard on where the battery connector is soldered has some faults. There are several possible ways to test your laptop battery, ranging from multimeter tests to using some high-end battery testing devices. However, the easiest and possibly the safest way would be to use another matching battery. And if you try another functional battery and still get this error, then it's very likely that there is a problem with some components on your motherboard, maybe some logic board or charging circuits or sensors, in which case I would recommend seeking the help of a technician. And for tips on longer laptop battery life, I would say first use the recommended adapter for your laptop as much as possible, kind of common sense. Next is to keep things as cool as possible with both your laptop and the battery. Then also try to avoid apps and games that cause your battery to discharge very rapidly because over time that could affect the overall performance of the cells and the internal components of your battery, hence shortening the lifespan of the battery. For such high power demanding apps and games, try to make more use of your AC adapter. And to quickly dismiss a popular myth, you may have heard the old tips about charging your laptop battery to only 80% and not leaving it on the charger all the time. Now, most of that advice is outdated. It applies mainly to the older nickel metal hydride batteries, but not the lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries that are mostly used today. While modern laptop batteries don't require you to be so conscious about how and when you charge your battery, you should occasionally take the opportunity to let the battery drain completely through normal use, especially if you have your laptop constantly plugged to AC source. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.